Hey guys, YouTuber100 here, and here I am with another Goosebumps video now. And I figured since I did something, I did a countdown for my favorite episodes, I figured I'd, I'd do something kind of for the Goosebumps books. And uh, what I decided to do was, I did top 13 favorite episodes. Here, I'm gonna count down top 13 favorite Goosebump book covers. Yeah, because, I mean, I really do like a lot of the covers for the books. I mean, I didn't really read, like, like a lot of them. I mean, I've read, like, some of them, but it's not, like, a whole bunch of them. But, yeah, I've seen, some, I've seen a lot of the book covers, and I figured I'd just count down what my top 13 favorite covers for the books are. Yeah, and it's kind of, like, just based on, like, the layout of the cover, like, the colors they have for the like the Goosebumps title and the color they have the actual title of the book down. I mean, yeah, just like the texture like that. I mean, that's kind of like what makes it good based upon the image that they have on the cover. And yeah, it's also based on like how much I like the image that's on the cover of Earth. So, yeah, because I mean, I really like a lot of the images and yeah, there are some that I do like more than others and so yeah. And yeah, every single cover that I have on this list. There will be links to them in the description box so you can see them for yourself. So, yeah, alright. So, yeah, this is just going to be my top 13 favorite Goosebumps book covers. Alright. So, let me just get started. Hmm. Number 13 is How I Got My Shrunken Head. I mean, yeah, I really... Yeah, this cover actually looks really good. I mean, just like... It just looks really ordinary with like a kid's dresser and just has like the sock and baseball and the glove and everything. And yeah, you also see the shrunken head on the drawer also. So yeah, it just looks really normal but with the shrunken head on top of it. So yeah, yeah, it's only kind of like to make it look like blending in. Yeah, but I just really like how how it's like all the Goosebumps logo is just all dark green with a light green background to it, and yeah, it also has, like, the title of the book just in white with, like, the dark green and the same color that the Goosebumps logo is, and yeah, I just, this cover actually does look really good, I just really think it has, like, really good texture to it, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, go check, so yeah, see the cover for yourself down there, so yeah, number 13 is how I got my shrunken head, alright, number 12, is Revenge of the One Gnomes. <laughs> I really do like this one. The cover for this a lot, yeah. I remember the episode for this. Uh, the episode just seemed really silly for me. But yeah, the cover for this book really looks good. I mean, just have two of the gnomes right there and like coming to life, and yeah. And T. Jacob Fiss also like has done a lot when working on these covers for all time. And yeah, his signatures are in some of the Goosebumps from covers and the images and yeah his signature is right here is on this cover yeah yeah if you look closely you can see it next to the baseball at the bottom of this cover cover yeah yeah he has a signature on here and yeah I just really think that this looks really good I, I really like how the gnomes look with the point red pointy hats and stuff like, as if they're goblins and just the gnomes really good and yeah it just has like a perfect setting to put the gnomes in yeah and I like how they actually like put the Goosebumps logo in orange here to kind of like match up with their hats yeah so yeah it just has a good matching to it and yeah it just yeah the cover just looks really good so yeah check it out down there so yeah number 12 is Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes number 11 is Monster Blood yeah, I remember, like, the episodes for these, they, like, didn't really have, like, Monster Blood, Monster Blood 2, 3, yeah, they just had, like, different, like, like, basically Monster Blood, and they just put something else with it, it in the title for the episodes, yeah. But yeah, this cover looks really good for the first one, anyway. The other three ones, they just really, I felt they looked, just looked kind of silly, like, they had animals, those well, as the monster and stuff, their blood, yeah, but this one, this looks really cool, I mean, just, like, there's, like, green slime style kind of blood, and yeah, see, like, these glasses on the stairs, yeah, and, yeah, the blood is just oozing down the stairs, and yeah, this just looks really good, and yeah, yeah, I really like how they have, like, the 
blue goose the Goosebumps logo in blue lettering with an orange background. But, um, yeah, I mean, it looks really good. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really match, but yeah, it still looks really good with the image. And yeah, this just looks really cool. Well, so yeah, check it out down there and see for yourself. And yeah, this just looks really cool. Yeah, so, yeah, number 11 is Monster Blood. Number 10 is One Day at Horrorland. Yeah, I remember I said the episode for this just seemed kind of silly, but the cover for this book looks really cool. I mean, I like how you see, like, the big monster behind the Welcome to Horrorland and sign. Yeah, I just like how it just looks, like, really, like, deserted and just like an old, like, in an old deserted place. And yeah. Yeah, with the, and the Goosebumps logo in the background, it just really matched this cover really well. I mean, it has, like, baby blue blue color for the Goosebumps logo behind, like, a kind of a light purple background. Um, and, yeah, it, it just looks really good. But, yeah, I mean, if it was kind of, like, looked like this in the show, I probably would have liked the episode a lot more, and plus if it was taken, like, more seriously. But, yeah, the book, there was really nothing scary about it at all, really, but, yeah. The episode was just silly, but yeah, this little, this cover, it looks really good, so yeah, take a look at this one, definitely, so yeah, number 10 is One Day at Horrorland. Mm. Right. Number 9 is Night of the Living Dummy 2. Yeah, I mean, I really do like this one a lot too, I mean, once the T. Jacob signature is on this cover too, you'll see it right next to where Slappy's sitting, it's on his on the right of Slappy. Yeah, I just really like the way this looks. I mean, I like how the pink bed with Slappy like over on his side with like the teddy bear and the bunny and I like how it feels like the teddy bear and the bunny look kind of scared of him. I mean, yeah. And plus, yeah, the Goosebumps logo with the back you know, ground, I mean, it matches this really well. I mean, Goosebumps is just like in regular green with like the same color of pink as the bed for the background logo, and yeah. It just looks really good. Good, so yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, this one, yeah, that just, just pretty, sums it up. This one looks really good. Good, so, yeah, check out this cover too. So yeah, number nine is Night of the Living Dummy 2. Number eight is Say Cheese and Die. Yeah, the cover for this looks really good. I mean, just like a barbecue with just skeletons. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty much just like exactly similar to what was in the episode of the show. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, this just looks like this is just really good. I mean, yeah, that just sums it up. It looks good. But yeah, and plus the uh, the Goosebumps logo for this looks really good also, and it really matches up with this too. I mean, the Goosebumps logo is in red with kind of just a like a sky blue background to it. So yeah, I mean, yeah, it just matches really well, and yeah, the cover for this looks really good too. So yeah, number yeah number number eight is Say Cheese and Die. All right, number seven is A Night in Terror Tower. Yeah, I think this one, yeah, this, I really like this one a lot. I mean, yeah, I mean, well, look, the Executioner here just looks like he's a lot bigger and he looks much more intimidating. I mean, if he looked like this in the episode, I mean, I think kids would have been terrified. Yeah, and once again, the T. Jacobus signature is on this, at the, it's on the bottom stair in this cover. And yeah, I mean, it just looks really good, and yeah, it really matches a lot with the logo at the top. I mean, the logo is written, is in blue with kind of like a pale yellowish background to it. Yeah, and I look, I like how it also has the slogan, it's gonna be a long night. But yeah, I mean, just, yeah, it really ma matches good with how big the Executioner is here. I mean, yeah, like I said, if you look, if the Executioner looked like this in the sh episode of the show, I mean, yeah, it, it, I think this episode would have been much scarier. So, yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, number seven is A Night in Terror Tower. Alright. Number six is Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Yeah. This just looks really good, too. I mean, the camp one's like, 
they come up with some pretty good covers for the stories at camp. Yeah, I mean, I like this, how it just seems like the tent is glowing, and there's just a monster. They're coming out of nowhere, yeah, I mean, yeah, the logo, yeah, the, this sits really good, and yeah, once again, the Goosebumps logo really makes it look really good also, how it's in purple with a blue background. Yeah, I mean, it just looks really good, and yeah, this cover just, yeah, this cover looks really awesome. So yeah, go, so yeah, take a look at this one, too. So, yeah, number six is Welcome to Camp Nightmare. Number five is The Barking Ghost. Yeah, once again, like an Iron Terror Tower, if the dogs looked like this in the episode, it probably would have been a lot scarier. Because, I mean, yeah, this dog on this cover, he actually looks like, really, like, what my normal dog, like, you could tell, like, this dog was, like, not normal. I mean, just how, you know, with the red eyes and how it's snarling, I mean, yeah, this dog was, like, this, the dog on this cover actually looks like really, you like, <laughs> like, this would really scare kids. Yeah, I remember, I've heard some people say, I think I might have said this in the, my top 30, episodes, yeah. <laughs> like, I've heard kids say that they were scared to go near their dogs after, like, reading this book and seeing the episode, yeah. And, yeah, if the Goosebumps books, like, had pictures in them, I mean, yeah, you, if you, like, see pictures of this dog in the book, yeah, I could see how you would really get scared of it, and, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the dog here just looks like, mm, like, much more, like, scarier than in the show, yeah. And plus, yeah, the logo, how it's in red, just with white, it, look, it makes this cover look really good also, and yeah, this is just a really good cover. So, yeah, number five is the Barking Ghost. Yeah. Number four is the Haunted Mask. I mean, the mask here just looks really awesome. I like how they actually put the image of this map, how the mask looks on the book, on, like, the, like a prop in the Werewolf Fever Swamp episode. Yeah, they get, like had it on Brady's skateboard and you just saw for a second in the episode. Yeah, I like how they did that. And yeah, the mask here just looks really cool and yeah. Yeah, and plus, yeah, once again, the Goosebumps logo with the background at the top of this makes it look really good how it's in blue with orange. Yeah, they did that with the second one too. They gave it like a blue logo with an orange background. Yeah, I mean, that just makes it look really good and yeah, this is just like a really good cover right here and so yeah it just it's really good so yeah number four is the haunted mask number three is night of the living dummy three yeah this one yeah this is really good too i like how for this one you have slappy like sitting in the middle of it with a bunch of other dummies and yeah yeah this just looks really good. This is like probably, yeah, this one is my favorite Night of the Living Dummy cover. Once again, there's the T. Jacob signature on here. You'll see it underneath, like where the dummy with the black and yellow checkered outfit is. Yeah, you'll see it right below where he's sitting. Yeah. Yeah, this just looks like really, really good. Yeah, I really like how this one really makes Slappy seem like a king of the dummies with like, the way he's sitting just looks like he's on a throne, and yeah, he's in the middle. It just makes him look like a king of dummies here. Here, and yeah, this is just, yeah, this is a really good cover, too. So, yeah. Number three is Night of the Living Dummy 3. Number two is Stay Out of the Basement. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I like how this one really doesn't, like, give you, like, really much of an image here, but it, like, what it does show you, it just, like, kind of, like, gives you the creeps. I mean, just how it has the whole, whole green plant hand, like, grabbing onto the door, and it's, like, slightly open, but you don't really see anything else. Yeah, I mean, that just makes it, like, yeah, it's kind of like horror movies where, like, it could be really scary, it could be scarier if you don't actually see the monster, and you just, like, know it's out there. Yeah, that's kind of like the case with this, too. I mean, you don't really see much of a monster, but you just see the hand, and yeah, this just looks like, yeah, if you're, like, a little kid, this may actually, like, maybe, like, send some chills down your spines to actually see, like, what is actually down there. And yeah. Yeah, and with the purple goosebumps lettering for the logo, and yeah, the, like, yellowish-green 
background for it. I mean, yeah, this just makes it look, like, really, really good also. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, this is kind of, like, just less is more. And, yeah, th that's the case with here. So, yeah, number two is Stay Out of the Basement. And number one Goosebumps book cover is Welcome to Dead House. I just really do like the look of this house. I mean, this house just looks awesome. I, I like how it's kind of, like, bluish, and, yeah, it doesn't really look like very much, but... And with the door, like, slightly open, you can kind of see, like, just orange light inside, and, yeah. I mean, though, this house just looks so freaking awesome. I mean, I would have loved to see the house look more like this in the episode. I mean, it just would have looked, like, so much, much cooler. And, yeah. Yeah, just, yeah. And plus, yeah, once again, the lettering just makes it look really cool, too, with, like, just kind of like a magenta-ish lettering with kind of like mostly white background. Yeah, I mean, just looks, makes it look really awesome, too. So, yeah, this just looks really, really, really awesome with the design of the house and everything. So, yeah, number one is Welcome to Dead House. Alright, and so, yeah, there you go. There's my top 13 favorite Goosebumps book covers. I hope you guys enjoyed this list, so yeah. And yeah, don't worry, I'm not gonna be doing, like, top 13 lists for all my Goosebumps videos. Videos for this month, yeah. I think, yeah, after this I'm just gonna go into, like, different subjects for Goosebumps videos, so yeah, stay tuned for more of those, like, different subject Goosebumps videos coming up, so yeah, alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.